Giving Ream a tough time and he's charged him off the ball. He's into the area, Simpson. He's taking on Zach Knight. He gets the ball into the middle. It's the goal for Quinn. Wow, that is absolutely superb play from Jay Simpson. Oh, that is really good football. The City fans are absolutely delighted about this. Straight after the restart, City have scored two quick fire goals. That was excellent work by Simpson. Took on Ream, took on Zach Knight. Just played a little ball inside and Quinn was there. And on his debut... Simpson, and it closed him down. Quinn, 1-0. The hull changes, reap instant dividends, and they take the lead. Well, there's been a distinct lack of quality all evening, but this is a, a really tidy finish from Stephen Quinn, because it's not easy. He comes at him fairly quickly and he's got to try and guide it into the corner and beat a very good goalkeeper in Lee Grant. Corrin's involved, the substitute is involved, Jay Simpson as well, just come on. A nice layup, but this is not an easy finish at all. To adjust your body and strike it with the outside of your left foot, it's drifting away from the keeper as well, and that's really telling. Lee Grant just can't get across and get a glove on it. And that's exactly what Hall were playing for, they've kept it nice and tight, nice and solid. Five now they've pinched the goal. That was headed for the bottom corner. Back with Quinn. Oh. And it's in! May well go down as an own goal, but having made a wonderful save, Heaton beaten as it bubbled over the line, and Hull City are ahead again. Well, poor Derek McInnes. Poor, poor Derek McInnes, because as a manager, you just can't legislate for mistakes like this. Initially, wonderful effort from uh, Aluko. Good save. As it comes out to Stephen Quinn, he pokes it goalwards, and it's Cole Scoos and Tom Heaton. They get in each other's way. There isn't really a Hull City player anywhere near these two. Look at that. It's Cole Scoos. Comes off his chest and into the goal. And how often do you see it? Catastrophes like that happening to the teams. Doveva sbattere su Cossini che era sta terra dolorante, il cross in mezzo, il colpo di testa, la piazzata di testa Quinn che prova a riaprirla, 1 a 3. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me.